up. Going in store. Don't know what the luck is going to be like, but um, took a rough W this morning on Roscoe's show. Definitely was a little bum that I couldn't cop a safety pair online today, but uh, we'll see what our luck is like in store. We'll catch you guys later. Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we are gonna be looking at the most hyped sneaker of the week, possibly of the year thus far, and that is none other than the Nike SB Dunk collab with Supreme, and we are gonna be taking a closer look at the black colorway. So let's get into that sneak peek. everyone to another lookbook for Supreme and I am so excited to do this unboxing of different items. So again, if you are new to the channel, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below. Don't be shy. Also hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on as well as check out our join button. We've got a lot of membership perks that I would love for all of you to see as well is our merch store. We've got some great items there. So be sure to take a look at that when you have the time. All right. So first we are going to start out with opening up some items that I was able to cop in store today. You guys already know my luck this morning. I took some fat owls. It was a bit stressful, but as you guys saw at the beginning of this video, we are going to save the best for last. Today ended up being an okay day, not a solid day, but an okay day. Um, Gonna get this lookbook out. Looks like the sun is shining. I don't know where it came from. It's so cloudy earlier and the wind kind of stopped, so it's not as chilly, but we are going to do a good video for you guys today. Stay tuned. Going to be more of a shoe unboxing video after we've unboxed the other pieces that I was able to cop in store. And then we are gonna conclude with how those items were styled at least some of the ones I picked up. And then we are gonna end it with resale on how those items are doing. Maybe actually before that resale, we may touch on what items sold out the fastest in the US. All right, so let's get into it. I don't even know which one to open up first. Actually I do, right here. We are going to start with the Zippo lighter. I actually have this lighter in the white, so I wanted to get another one because this one is in the red. And this is quite sturdy, the Zippo lighter. Very excited to have it in this colorway. It's high quality. Um, and look at how they package it, I mean. Doesn't get any better than this in this package box. Let's see what it says here. Congratulations on your purchase of this quality Zippo product. For great tips and hints on care of your new lighter, visit Zippo.com. Also, did you know that genuine Zippo products are legally protected by patents and registered design? Good to know, Zippo. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, but I do like it in this pop of red and white color scheme. I feel like too, if you needed to defend yourself, you could chuck this at somebody and this would really, really hurt. It's actually quite heavy. All right, so that is the first item on the list. I didn't want to cop this online because spending on shipping and handling for a liar, I just it can't justify it. So I didn't want to get that online this morning, but I saw a lot of you on Roscoe's channel um, in the live said you copped that Zippo lighter. So congrats to that. All right, so next up, I'm going to show you the hoodie that I caught. And I actually got this in the small. It fits me quite nicely. 
And I got this one in the white colorway. And of course it's got that massive font on the back of that Supreme. This is pretty much, I think, as big as you can go with a Supreme logo. There is, I mean, I guess you could fill the hoodie a little bit more, but other than that, this is the largest print I have seen for Supreme. They have just outdid themselves. I do like how this looks in the images. So you guys stay tuned for the styling section because I do think that this actually looks quite decent when, you know, your arms are kind of spread out. It does have a really cool vibe on the back. And you know, if you're not really wanting to show such a flashy hoodie, you got a basic hoodie from the front side. And this is just a nice quality sweatshirt. It's very soft. The fleece is great inside and it's definitely on the thicker side. So it's gonna be a great hoodie to keep me warm. Okay, let's continue on. This one, I'm gonna need my handy dandy Supreme knife for this. So be careful, don't use this at home children. This is very, very sharp. So now that we have this started, all right, oh, got that barely even needed that. Can you guys guess what this is? Can you guess? Oh, that's right. It is the baseball bat. Look how amazing this is. Oh, wow. This is a beaut. Wow, I can actually smell the paint coming off of this bat. So some people were saying this bat was um, like maple wood. I'm pretty sure that this doesn't really look like maple wood. This looks for sure like it's a metal bat. Um, we've got the different years going on here. 27 time champions, world famous with the Supreme logo. Um, and Rawlings logo on the end there. It goes from 1994 to 2020. And it's got this very vibrant red. I almost like, gosh, it's so potent. I feel like they literally just freshly painted this bat. Um, but this is gonna be a fun one to play with. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely gonna be a good safety weapon for me, just in case, you know, somebody tries to come at me and wants to like attack me. Let's see what the packaging says on the back here. So, Woodsaver Technology. We've got Rawlings, Supreme Woodsaver Technology. Some nice branding going on. I do love the packaging that they put this bat in. It really is clean. Uh, but the bat itself, this is like definitely a shiny bat. I may like blind somebody actually if I go after them trying to attack them with this. <laughs> this is not intended, by the way, for game use. So I think this is meant for more decor or else why would they put that there? <laughs> not intended for game use, just an FYI. So if you were actually planning on playing ball with this, I guess this was not meant for baseball, just for the looks. And then let's actually spin this around because there's a massive supreme going on in the back. Whew, had to take a breather there. This literally smells like straight up chemicals. I was about to pass out there for a second. It is potent, not gonna lie. You guys, this is like, whew. I don't know what it is, if it's the paint or what, but it is strong. So on the back of the bat, it also has in bigger bold letters, supreme and a bigger logo for that Rawlings signature right there. So pretty cool. It's a very flashy bat. I'm bummed, you know, that you can't really actually play baseball with it. I don't know what would happen if you tried. I'm sure that this paint would definitely come off, uh, but this is by far like a really good quality, solid bat and definitely doesn't say can't be used as a weapon. So yeah, may save my life one day, I don't know. All right. So that is it for the three items I got besides the shoes. So now we are gonna jump in and do a little unboxing. So let's bring the grand finale out. I took a fat L this morning. I tried to go for the brown colorway. I wasn't able to get that, um, but I was able to get a color in store and I'm happy with it. As you guys know, I love me some black and sometimes dark gray. I only work in black. 
and sometimes very, very dark gray. But this is, let me tell you, a beautiful, beautiful seeker. The pictures really just don't show this justice until you really have the shoe in hand. Starting with just the front of the toe box, you've got this croc and it's been debossed on the front of that toe box there. Then we've got just some nice, simple white leather underlays going on for the toe that moves up into the tongue. Then we've got this supreme gold trinket here. It's quite flashy, it really blings in the sun. And then we've got just simple black laces. And what I love about these laces is it actually says world famous on the tips. And then we've got some extra laces inside. So if you actually just want to lace these up in white, you have that option as well. Uh, but I do personally like it with the black laces. Moving up the tongue, for those of you that know SB Dunks versus just regular Dunks, the tongue on SBs are much more padded. It is like literally three times the padding of a regular Dunk. Uh, this has just a crisp, nice white nylon fabric to it. And then the Nike, which I love, is very blingy. It's got like this very metallic-y sparkly gold going on for the swoosh and that Nike logo. And on the inside of that tongue, it is more of a, feels like actually this is fleece on the inside. It's very soft. And then we've got some more of that stitch gold metallic coloring scheme on the inside of the tongue. So let's take a closer look in detail on what this looks like. All right, so let's move now to the side panels, medial and lateral sides. One of the areas that's really cool is just this world famous hang tag with the Supreme and Nike going on there. It's nice and flashy. We've also just got these beautiful stars. You know what these stars remind me of though? When I was in school, I remember we used to get stars for any time that we did something good. And your goal was to like have the most stars out of any student in the classroom. I always won that game. I think it was a goodie two shoes or something. I don't know. Student of the year. Won it with my stars, my gold stars. Gold stars were worth most too. You had different color options. Uh, so I love that these kind of look like they've been hand painted on there, but these are just beautiful. They really pop on top of those white underlays. Then again, we've got more of that wraparound croc debossed fabric on the swoosh as well as it wraps around onto the heel and then on to the inside of the side panel here as well. So on the back, we've got some more hues of that metallic gold and that stitching, let me tell you, this is quality stitching going on here. It really just pops off of that croc pattern, which I think really helps just make this bling even more. So then when we move to the inside of the shoe, we've got the Supreme logo going on here with its signature red and white color scheme with Nike SB. Let's see if there's anything different on here. So yeah, it spells out Supreme, S-U-P in this one. And then we've got the rest of the lettering for the E-M-E on the other side. Looks like they didn't have room for an R there, but that's okay. I think we got what they, they were going for. So let's take a look at those side panels up close and personal.
All right, so now we're gonna finish off the shoe with talking about just the basic white midsole, and then it has a nice, simple black outsole, um, bringing basically the shoe together. It's just very simplified in colorway. You guys have probably seen all four of the color options. I think black was by far probably one of the most popular just because it's gonna go, go with everything. But this also came in a hyper blue color, which was quite nice. It also came in a bark root brown, which in my opinion kind of had some hues, of burgundy, uh, hints of red in it, uh, which was quite nice. That was actually my personal first option that I wanted to go with, but black was a hard second. Then we had the mean green, which was a nice pop of that bright neon green color scheme, which is quite, quite nice if you're looking for a more standout color between the four color options. This is also a signifying pattern that we've already seen on another SB Dunk, but it was in the high version. We saw that launched in 2003. They didn't really change anything except that this is in the Dunk Low version. And I actually prefer Dunk Lows over Dunk Highs. So I was excited to see that they basically just transferred that same pattern onto the silhouette. And I think it just really, came out nicely. Supreme and Nike did such a great job with this collab and I'm so excited that I was able to show you guys a pair of these. Uh, so now I just want to get into how I was able to style these. This was so much fun. So let's jump into the styling part. So I had to, of course, wear my Supreme Nike crew neck. This was just a must. I mean, it's nice black. Can't go wrong with these black textures on the croc on the shoe. So I wore an all black outfit for the first look. Just some nice black leggings topped with this Supreme Nike crew neck. And of course you guys know I love me some black and sometimes dark gray. So this was just a perfect option for that. For the second look, I decided to go with my Supreme black and white crossbox logo t-shirt. It's freezing outside, so of course I layered that with a nice hoodie and I uh, also layered that with a leather jacket on top with some just simple Levi's denim jeans. And I think that these shoes go great with any type of denim. I wanted to go with a lighter shade this time around, but um, obviously you can dress this in darker denims, but light was just kind of my preference for this specific shoe. What you need, I'm unchanged, unfazed, and unwilling. It's a new day, new world, we all winning. I'm up late, up early, I gotta get it. Keep working, now we gotta make a million. Go get it, you got it, I see you. Go get it, you got it, I see you. Gotta do is put your mind to it. Wake up, I'm on to the next new day. I gotta do my best. And then for the last and final look, I decided to pair this new hoodie that I got with a massive logo on the pack. Again, with that same pair of light denim jeans. I think that this color scheme in particular goes great with light denim. Um, and of course, I just think that this was one of those hoodies that I needed to wear to really see how cool it looked on the body. And I think 
The pictures definitely do justice for this. I think it looks great. And I love the fact that, you know, if I don't want to be too flashy, I can always layer this with a coat over it and just not show anything if I don't want to. It just looks like a basic white uh, hoodie. Every day I put the work in, the grind never stop, you ain't never see me rest. See me on top, I never fall. I speak my truth and turn it to law. Do it for the drive, you know it's really my passion. Never gonna stop me, really, I'll make it happen. Uh, I gotta get up and grab it. Huh, the money want me to have it. What more could I say, I'm top billing. I grew from the dirt, guess I had to make a million. I grew up, I swear I rose from the valley. Every day I put the work in, I gotta keep a tally on beat. Pockets stay heavy when you see me, don't leave. Falling days in the streets, had homies in the struggle. Uh, so those are the three looks, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite. Um, I would love to hear from you. Instincts going no, looking bad like a bat with an eye patch. All black through the woods with a backpack and a lit match. Spark one time, get the whole city looking like a dark set of orange when I burn it down. What it is, what it do, whole click getting live on the talk of the town. I'm a city had a mouth and it wouldn't shut up. On a hunt for a crown, when I get it, I'ma burn it cause nobody in the game right now even deserve it. What I need a crown for anyway, I should have a halo the way that I made a penny turn to gold and a penny for your thoughts, I better penny for your soul. You know you want the riches and the money and the fence, so take a bite of the fruit if you choose. Let the juice drip down, then it wait to a pie full of gold and a house up on a lake, ten holes on the grapes, new clothes and a row full of J's and a lemon in the garage. Looking like a zoo in here, whole crew in here. What it do in here? They got lost my mind. Loose screw in here, then I walk outside. And everybody looking at me while well, I got them all in my sights. Picking them off, picking them out, looking like daylight in the night. And I'm killing so many if they really wanna get involved. And everybody fall off in the elevator. Now I'm Bray Rice in this. It's like I'm rice and take a bite. It's nice and I have a nice time with it. By the time that it finds the way to the right side of him, not even a high nigga save him. I select the finger to you, imbeciles. Tell me what's been getting into you. Envy will kill you. She said I'm a gentleman. All right, now let's jump into some of the sellout times for what sold out the fast in the US. All right, so I was actually pretty surprised at the sellout numbers for week two. I thought it was all gonna be shoes to start, but it wasn't. I did mention this though in Roscoe's show that I thought that that light blue hoodie was gonna do quite well. And that was the number one item to sell out the fastest in an XXL. Uh, next was the brushed checkerboard cardigan in mint and a small. I did not think that that was gonna sell out the fastest. Uh, number three was the Supreme Nike SB Dunk in blue in a size 6.5. That's not a shocker. Obviously I felt like the smaller sizes were gonna go fastest and of course 6.5 was the size to really go the quickest. Then the Maplewood baseball bat actually sold out fast as well um and that is whew, that is a potent bat my goodness maple wood it looks chrome it looks metal it doesn't even honestly look like wood but it is freshly painted whatever they've done with it um number five was that light blue small hooded sweatshirt and then the SB Dunk in the black win at number six, the brown 6.5 at number seven, and then the blue in 11.5 went at number eight, followed again by the big logo hooded sweatshirt in blue. And then it looks like the XXL in this colorway went at number 10. So I'm not gonna go through any of the other items since I think we all know the next items to really just fly off the shelves were other sizes and other options in the SB Dunk Lows. Um, so yeah, pretty crazy morning. I know that some of you were able to get some W's uh, from the chat earlier this morning and a lot of us mainly took L's online. It was a difficult run. I think that the botters definitely took the majority or bulk of the shoes. Um, it just seems like they had enough time to alter all their coding and everything they needed to basically set everybody up for success after seeing what happened in the EU, which is unfortunate for us manual goers, but was able to take a W in store. So I'm happy that I got these items so that I could show you this lookbook this evening. Um, so yeah, let's get into how these shoes are currently doing on the resale market. 
So all of the SB Dunk Lows retailed at $110, which is an insanely affordable price point, uh, which is why the Dunks always continuously do well. So for the black colorway, it is going between $900 to $1,000, depending on your size. The hyper blue is doing exactly the same from $900 to $1,000. The mean green and bark brew are doing a little bit less, depending obviously on size, between $850 and $1,000. So these shoes are pretty hot right now on the resale market. I don't know if those prices are gonna drop when people start to actually get their pairs in, um, but right now it is a pretty steep price point above that retail market value. So let me know in the comments down below, you guys, if you were able to cop anything this week or if you just took a pass on it. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well as leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have after this video is over. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on as well as check out our join button. We've got a ton of new membership perks that I would love for you guys to see as well as check out our new merch store. We've got some great items in there. All right, until our next video, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill and we will see you on the next one.